a mainstream theory would predict that if current-day Native Americans were the first to the Americas, then the precursors of the Clovis or bifacial spear point technology would gradually be found in more northern parts of the Americas, over the Bering Strait and into Siberia. Stated another way, tracing back the pattern of migration from the Americas over the Bering Strait and back to Siberia, one would expect to find spear points similar to Clovis which are points scattered all over the Americas. However that does not occur. As noted in the article, Immigrants from the Other Side, by James Chandler, following the fall of communism in Eastern Europe, Dennis Stanford of the Smithsonian Institution, and lithics expert Bruce Bradley reviewed archaeological collections in Siberia, Russia, and northern China, seeking pre-Clovis technology. Instead, what they found was a totally different method of making tools and weapons. The Asian spear points they found are of a totally different design than the Clovis design, which later spread across the Americas. The Asian technology uses a microblade design which involves placing small stone blades into the shaft, rather than the use of a large heavy projectile which is characteristic of Clovis and Salutrian designs. Again, the technological progression from early Siberian peoples is drastically different than the Clovis spear points which eventually spread throughout the Americas. A comparison between the European Salutrian precursors of Clovis however shows a clear technological similarity between this European spear point technology and those Clovis points that later spread across the Americas over 10,000 years ago. One doesn't see these similarities at all between Siberian Asian points and the Clovis points found in the USA. Use your own eyes and be the judge, which spear point looks most similar to the Stone Age American or Clovis points found all across the USA.